click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. So in this video, we are going to study the three types of interaction of radiation with matter. Consider the interaction of a photon of energy H in you with matter. Matter can be atoms which are in certain energy states. But for simplicity, we are going to consider a pack of atoms which are having only two energy levels, a ground state which is represented by En and an excited state which is represented by Em. So the minute a photon of energy H nu interacts with these energy levels of the atom, so the minute this photon of energy H nu interacts with these energy levels of the atoms, the atoms in the ground state will absorb this energy and they will be excited to the higher energy level that is Em. So this particular absorption can be represented by a very simple equation A equals to H nu plus A star wherein H nu is the photon energy. This is going to be represented by a very simple equation that is A which is the atom in the ground state will absorb an energy plus H nu and will get excited to a higher energy level equal to A star. So this is the first kind of interaction between radiation and matter. This is called as absorption. Let us move to the second type of interaction between the radiation and matter. This is called as spontaneous emission. Now our atoms are already there in the excited states. Not all of them of course, a few of them will be in the excited state. They will not stay in this excited state for a very long time because the lifetime of this excited state is very small and that is of the order of 10 raised to minus 8 seconds. So whatever energy they have absorbed, they will release it once again in the form of the photon of energy H nu, the same one which they have absorbed and they will move to the ground state. And this can be represented by a very simple expression, something like A star, which represents an atom in the excited state, will give rise to, represented by, that is equal to H nu plus A. H nu is the photon that will be released during this spontaneous emission. We now move to the third type of emission which is called as the stimulated emission and this is the one that is most important and will be applicable in lasers and this is called as stimulated emission. Now what happens in the stimulated emission? Photons are present everywhere. One of these photons will in a way get stimulated or rather it will stimulate an atom in the higher energy state. This atom which is present in the excited state will absorb temporarily and photon of energy H nu and will get stimulated to make a transition from the higher energy level to the lower energy level. So when it makes a transition, it will have its own photon. This photon as well as the one with which it has been stimulated, both of them will be released. So in a single transition, which is actually been stimulated by one photon, the yield will be two photons and this can be represented by a very simple equation that is A star which is representing an atom in the higher energy level an excited state plus H nu the photon that actually stimulates the transition is equal to A plus 2 H nu, the photon that is released from the transition as well as the photon that actually stimulated this particular transition. Hence, there will be two H nu's in this particular expression. So, such a kind of interaction between matter and the photon or rather the radiation is called as the stimulated emission interaction. So, this is the way in which matter interacts with any type of radiation. Sincere thanks students for watching this particular video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and do subscribe to Ikeda. Thanks a lot.